Hello, how's it going everybody? My name is Rakan and welcome back to Age of Wonders Shadow Magic. So this series was kinda gone for me for a while because well since I changed my Windows to Windows 10 I had a bit of problems with the game running really terribly. Thankfully a few days ago I guess I found a solution to it. And today I want to share the same solution to you guys, so that you don't have to spend hours searching for it. So yeah, first off, let's get to the settings. So what do you want to do now is go to Age of Wonders Shadow Magic Setup. Or the Wizard's Throne, if you don't have Shadow Magic for some reason. And here is what you should do. Disable use direct 3D that's one thing and just a little hint uh, you want to change your cursors from software because uh, from time to time they may or may not uh, well have a quite a bit of delay which is annoying put it on color it won't be much of a pain and you will probably see quite good results with it and yeah, let's go back to the game. Alright, now we're in the game. And let's see, well, this is of course without the Direct 3D on. But here is what you want to do. Of course, as you can see, it's, uh, it's working quite decently. Now, what do you want to do is to turn Direct 3D on. No, you don't have to close the application, just press Ctrl R. Like so. And as you can see, it's still working pretty well. So yeah, as you can see... Uh, do we, can we do something? Yes, no. Not really, it seems. No, so let's uh, wait uh, for the PCs to take their turns. Yes, I know it may, it may take a bit longer for them you know, just to wait for the AI to move. Just because it is a... Uh, huge map, extra large map even, and it has three layers, aka surface, underground and shadow world. So yeah, the, tar the turns take a bit of time, but hey, we have YouTube for a reason, right? So yeah, just remember, change your settings to mouse cursor color, so this it will look pretty much like you can see me moving right now. And of course, turn off Direct 3D. Uh, I'm not sure how it will look on the recording though, so... Well, there may be some stars on the video, but trust me, it helps a lot. As I see it now, it's working really good, it's smooth. I don't see any like stutters nor animation lags, nothing like this. Alright. So now we can move those guys. It looks really good, it moves smoothly. There is no issues whatsoever. But of course uh, there is one little disclaimer. Each time you launch the game, you will have to use the Ctrl R key, uh, well, key shortcut, key bind, whatever, to turn on Direct 3D. Also, from time to time, really rarely, you will have to disable Direct 3D and re-enable it again. Because, well, it's something with Windows 8 and Windows 10 on some graphic cards, on, major on the majority graphics card from what I heard. And uh, that this is just working kinda like a slideshow. Okay, hopefully this little thing, this little trick, will help you a lot. It took me quite a bit to actually find a working solution. So hopefully you will not have to spend so much time searching for it. And if did if it did help you, please leave a like, share, comment. Maybe not necessarily share, but leave a like and comment it helps a like helps a like. Wow, it helps a lot. So yeah. Also probably soon. Age of Wonders coming back to the channel. Yay! 
Until then, folks. Bye-bye.